How's it going everyone? Can I let's take it here? Welcome back to episode of Clayton's Own Hall. Got a big stack today and a few goodies. It's going to be a big episode, so let's get to it. To kick things off, issue one of Miss Meow, a very gorgeous cover, very stunning. And uh, yeah, actually a really good read. I'm going to uh, continue on with it. it. It almost, I thought it was going to be very much like the boys, but it, it wasn't as full on if I say I thought yeah it's gonna to get to that point but nah it's not uh, not in this issue anyway but um yeah um, I look forward to reading the next one I actually can't remember the title it's something artist premiere it's they've so it's a comic company and they've made new characters and this is sort of the um an introduction if I want to say so here it is here uh, I thought it was gonna be a comic but it's just more introducing these uh, new characters and uh, I'm gonna keep my eye out. I'll see how it goes. Issue one of Immortal Red Sonya. Really good read. And I was going through this and I thought, I feel like I've read this before. I have, but not this issue. There was a comic released and I don't know if it was a short issue or it may have been just sort of a, oh, I can't even feel the term. Basically, she has this chainmail, but it's cursed, and she can't get it off. And if she tries, it starts to rip her flesh off. So she's trying to find out a way to get rid of it, and it talks to her. We can't hear her, but she can. So as you start in the comic, she's talking, but she's like, Oh, will you shut up? Will you stop talking? It's like, who are you talking to? The chainmail's cursed. And I remember reading a comic, and this ha she actually found it, put it on, and... She was cursed. I forget what it was called. I cannot remember, but yeah, really good read. I love me some Red Sonja. Recently saw Jurassic World Dominion. Picked up issue one of Jurassic League. Really fun, really good. Highly recommend it. It is a really fun read. Definitely gonna continue on reading it. Cannot wait to get issue two. All right, everyone. I finally got back to using my tablet to read some comics. I was really annoyed with what Comicsology did, especially for us in Australia. It just, they really fucked it up. <laughs> Don't know why they did it. My whole list that I had, you know, a catalogue of all these comics I wanted to get, I can't use it anymore. I'm in Australia. Don't know why that's, you know, they've done that. Unacceptable bullshit. But then I realised that if I go through my Amazon page and I purchase a comic, I can download it to my tablet. As soon as I click buy, download straight to my tablet. So what I'm doing now is on comic day, I'll see what comics I'm sort of, you know, what am I following, purchase uh, the next issue, you know, la -da -da -da, and straight to my tablet. So, even the Comicsology app's really, mm, I've read a load of comics on it, so I'm back in the groove with that. So, let's kick things off with issue 42 of Batman Beyond, finally continuing on with this series. I'm really enjoying it, and I don't think I've got much left. I think they finish around issue... 50, but yeah, um, I really love the Batman Beyond run. It's really good. Issue 2 of Bigfoot. Really enjoying this comic. It's really horrifying and really <laughs> just intense. And I said in one episode of Clay's Own Hall with issue 1, I feel like I know where this is going. I'm just going to say it right now. I think the Bigfoot is mating with female humans because... I picked it up in the first issue where he kidnaps the mum's, kidnaps the main character's mum. It killed everyone else but her, if I remember. And in this comic, he does the same with another woman. He does, he kills everyone else, but you know, takes this one and doesn't do anything. We don't know if she's killed yet. I'm pretty sure that he didn't. So I've got a <laughs> feeling he might be doing that. So yeah. Uh, Definitely not for the squeamish, if I'll put it that way. Issue 2 of Punisher. I forgot what. I think it's just called Punisher. A really good take on the Punisher. A ninja. I will talk about spoilers because in the first issue it does reveal uh, his wife survives the attack as well. And he's, his role now is to just... He's a... How do I put it? An assassin, he's a hired assassin, he's with this clan, send him out, and he you know he kills bad guys. Really good, I recommend it. In the last episode, I bought a figure of She Spawn, decided to pick up issue two of Scorched. Really good, really enjoying this, and yeah, She Spawn is just a badass. 
All right, so the next few, uh, there's a few uh, ones I purchased, like new comics that I haven't read yet, and there's a load of uh, free ones as well. So I'll let you know which one are the free ones, and you know, if you want to download it and read them, yeah, you can. I've always wanted to read Star Wars Mara Jade. Just with Star Wars at the moment, and you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi really enjoying the show, I decided to see what Star Wars comics there were. Mara Jade, and I've always wanted to read this and just read about her story and really good and yeah I'm so happy that they you know upload it to Amazon and can download it or buy it alrighty from here on out uh, all these other comics are free so you can go nuts and read them yourself uh, sorry if I butcher this title issue one of Dr. Macabre Macabre bruh bruh <laughs> um really enjoyed this it's it's almost like Ghostbusters meets Evil Dead, I want to say. Uh, so you're following this doctor and he makes these inventions to fight against certain supernatural forces. So, uh, for example, in this comic, he, he goes up against a load of zombies and the reason I say Ghostbusters is he gets called, oh, there's supernatural things and uh, can you help us? And, okay, what, what are we dealing with? This and that and that. And, then chooses an invention on that certain thing. So with the zombies, he made an invention where he shot them, and then what happens, they put themselves back in the grave, and then pat the dirt back down, and then they go back to being dead. And Yeah, it was really fun, highly recommended, it was really good, and uh, next issue, uh, an older, not next issue, but in this issue as well, an older couple asked for his help, and. It's like, oh, it's a goat, it's an old man, and, um, and actually, I'll show you. It caught me by surprise, I was like, whoa. So, it gets caught up, and it's like, oh, nothing to fear, I can handle it. Just a ghost, an old ghost, and, you know, it's not normal for ghosts to just suddenly start haunting. Oh, dear, that's a big boy. Very hack and slash as well, the comedy of it, a ninja name Stan started off really good but then it kind of dragged on a bit uh it's about a dude wants to be a ninja he's a detective and uh this cop lady uh encounters him trying to take out this boss and he gets shot in the shoulder and so she's basically like, oh who are you what are you, you know what are you doing you maniac and like i'm a ninja i can't reveal my secret but here's my number blah 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 but then the rest is all about her socializing with her friends and just talking about the guy and oh you you know you're gonna meet him blah blah it's like come on you started off good let's move it forward a bit so uh, i'm gonna get issue two and see how we go but yeah i recommend it at the end it's a really fun little read up next wolverine first class i really enjoyed this i had a really great time this is the x-men that i want it felt like watching a cartoon well reading a Sorry, it was building up. Uh, reading this issue reminded me when I would use, you know, I'd be watching like the X-Men 92, X-Men Evolution. It felt like that. It wasn't overly dialogued or, you know, so much speech going on. There's a lot of action and it's about Kitty Pride teaming up with Wolverine. She's new. She's been brought to the Academy and Xavier's like, oh, Wolverine, I need you on a mission. Take Kitty. Oh, this is outrageous. And what I like the most is, hang on, because I used to get a load of comics when I was a kid and just sort of like one-offs and uh, I, the ones I remember the most were from McDonald's, they did a run of comics, it was, it was about, you know, how do I put it, healthy lifestyle, you know, you got to brush your teeth and you know, eat your vegetables if I remember and just with those comics, this comic has those sort of like funny little cartoon like strips and uh, so with this one it's like hey spider can you play human torch sorry torch mine won't let me play with fire hey devil can you play sorry torch my dad won't let me play with fire hey wolverine can you play sorry torch but what you can't play with fire no i just don't like you <laughs> so uh and there was another one uh that really made me go <laughs> So we have Gambit and Road. Oh, come on, Road, give me a kiss. I like you. I kiss, kiss, kiss. Get zapped. Goes down, blah, blah, blah. Wolverine. Rogue's got cooties. 
So, really funny, and yeah, I'm going to definitely keep with this one. Really had a good time. Now, when I saw this comic cover, I thought, what am I going to read here? This looks intense. Model A. Mr. Bean as a robot. It was really funny, and I had such a good time reading this. I thought it was going to be miserable and depressing, but no, it was really charming and quite funny, and you're just following this robot, and anything he does just goes wrong. It's almost like watching an episode of Mr. Bean and it was really good and what I like with this comic not a single text dialogue like bubble. The art tells the story. I love that. When a comic uses the art that's just two thumbs up for me and there is no a single text bubble in this one so don't let that scare you. I recommend it. It's really fun. I mean, just to give a short, so we're following a line of robots. One of the robots' antennas get bent, become self-aware. So, you know, it's like, what's going on here? This is a bit weird. Prod. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. We're good. <clears throat> issue one of the hit, the hit list agenda. No, issue zero, sorry. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, nothing sort of mind blowing, just following these assassins. And if I remember, they get hired as an assistant and all that stuff. But yeah, it was all right. If you like your um, like hit style, you know, there's, there's killing and stuff like that, you know. It's up your alley. It's a very punisher like style. Last but certainly not least, issue one of Nova Phase. Think of an old school retro video game in a comic. The art is beautiful in this comic and it's really good. The story is really nice and I'm beginning to think, is there a video game and now they've just put it into a comic? But I'll just show you. Look at that art. This is what I want to do in my drawings. It's that really solid, bright neon color and just absolute solid, no shading. I mean shading, but you know what I mean, like fading in the shadows and all that stuff. Uh, I just wanna show another, I should probably say, so don't be, I know I showed that and it was like all one color. It was just cause they're in a club. So there you go, full color. They use like certain panels like for mooding and stuff. So yeah, she's a bounty hunter, collecting coin, wants to get off the planet, can't get off the planet, all that stuff. Here we are. Just look at that. It's like it's been plucked right out of a video game back in the 90s. Really fun. Really recommend it. All right, everyone, onto the goodies. I just had, I was spoiled for choice today. I just saw this one and I was like, oh, I want that. And then I saw this and I'm like, oh, I really want that. I wish I'd waited a while before buying a Casey Jones figure because they released another Casey Jones figure from the first Ninja Turtles movie. This one has a swappable head where he has the mask and not with the mask so it's exactly the same I'm positive it is I was looking at it and trying to compare while it's in the box it's exactly the same figure but this one you can just change the head and I wish I had waited a bit if I had realized and bloody genius marketing that you know let's re-release it and now you can swap the head this one's got a hat I'm actually gonna do an unboxing for this one just be really cool to do Really, really awesome. I'm happy that we at least got him now without the mask. Because, yeah, uh, one of my favourite movies and just... I can never remember his name. Yeah, this dude is Casey Jones. I didn't like the... What was his name? Was it Arrow? Stephen? Stephen Amell. That wasn't Casey Jones. You know, I, I like the cool, you know, take no shit Casey Jones. You know, the long hair, iconic, all that stuff. Whereas, you know, shaven head Casey Jones... Uh-uh. No. Alright everyone, this one I will open for the video. A Knuckles the Echidna statue. Finally, I've been on the hunt for a not a crazy Knuckles, you know, statue. Just a little one, just to, you know, display and finally got one. Very happy because when I went to the comic shop there was like Sonic, Robotnik, I'm like, oh, is there Knuckles? Is there Knuckles? Right in the back, last one, Knuckles. I was like, mine. 
And I'll just show the back, because look at that. You can get like retro Tails and Sonic as well. I think that'd be really cool. I'm still buzzing from the second movie. That was so much fun. I'll never forget the ending. Knuckles winning. Guess the car. Oh, my victory chariot. Bonk. <laughs> right into it. Ooh, in a foam. Oh, wow. This is legit. <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And there we go. It is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Just a basic Knuckles Ikina figure, not too crazy. This is just what I've been looking for. Very happy, very nice. Look at that. Very cool. And that's not plastic. That's almost like, um, it's like a clay. It's like, um, my Harley Quinn. So that's pretty, you know, it's not a, you know, plastic toy, <laughs> pretty much. So, really, really awesome. Got a little booklet. Eagle Moss Hero Collector is proud to present a true blue new series, the Sonic the Hedgehog Classic Figurine Collection. Inspired by the classic era of Sonic games, the collection will feature the most memorable characters and iconic poses. The accompanying magazine will look back at the pioneering design of Sonic and the many zones he zoomed through, original game cover art, and the history of Sega. Your figurine, Knuckles the Echidna. Skilled fighter and guardian of the Master Emerald strikes a strong and determined pose. He might be rash at times, but he's ready for anything. How about I show the booklet? Really cool. And then we got, you know, when he first rocked up. And Sonic and Knuckles, God, I remember hiring that from the video store every time I had it. You know, had my chance to get it. Just never picked it up because I was happy with the, you know, the re-releases on PS3 and stuff. Collect them all. Shame there's no Knuckles retro. I think that would have been cool. Now, there was something on the bottom of this stand. I'm not... Uh, 92. Does that mean, you know, 92 out of 1,000? I'm not too sure. Interesting. But I'll tell you what. Once again, really cool figure. Or statue figure. All right, everyone. That's an end of this jam-packed episode of Clay Zone Hall. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you later.